amazing. I'm back, Amsterdam, React Summit. Um, what an event, 1,500 people here today. Wow. And I feel like 500 of them at least, like probably like more than that, were just packed in your room to see this guy. And so I just had to get him here for all of you today. Uh, I've been following him around for the past couple of months, actually. Yeah. Uh, two different continents and then finally here in Amsterdam. So right. without further ado, Tejas Kumar, everyone. What's up, everybody? It's nice to see you. I salute you. <laughs> good to see you, man. It's good to see you too, like, bro. Like, like that, that room was packed. Yeah. Like how hot was it in there? Yeah, I was sweating towards the end. I yeah. had to like wipe my forehead and I was like, it was bad. It was <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sweating right now. I'm not sure if you can see this. I'm, 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 I'm kind of disgusting actually, so I don't Were know Were you in the room with all the people? No, I couldn't make it in. It was yeah. too too, too A random. lot of people, yeah. yeah. They, um, they went to our booth instead. Okay, cool. That's awesome. It's yeah. good to hear. Um, but yeah, how are you, man? So I've seen you, what now? I've seen you in Miami. Yeah. I saw you in, in Berkeley, San Francisco. That's right. I saw you in, what, Budapest? Yeah. Um, and then now in Amsterdam. Man, that's a lot of travel. <laughs> we're like a traveling circus, dude. I'm so happy about it's, it. It's basically TNT, we're dynamite. That's right. We missed each other in Greece next time. Oh, you didn't make it to Greece. No, oh, I didn't. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. But soon. Yeah, basically this guy is everywhere. This, like, like, I, like, I think I go to places, this guy goes to places. But I stuff. love it. Like, I, I love the people. Like, it's always the same. Like, you know, I feel like, a, I was saying this morning, I feel like a parent. Because, like, parents, new parents of infants, like, usually don't sleep. But they're like, it's so worth it. You know, and I feel like the same. I'm exhausted, but, like, it's so worth it. But, like, the crazy thing about Tejas is that he just happens to, like, gain energy through That's people. Cool. And so just hanging out with people, like, you're, you're tired, but then you go and like, you go to a conference yeah. full of people. And I feel you just get yeah. so much energy yeah, from I that do. that you're kind of good for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, man. I love it. It's like, I have the feeling every time I do something like this, I feel like I was made for this. You know? Like, I... I Sense of purpose, like level hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and, and what, like in, in Budapest, you were emceeing, you were up there like <laughs> rapping on stage, like, <laughs> yeah. singing on stage. Like the amount yeah. of energy this guy brings was ridiculous. Yeah, was I was fun. like, is this a concert? Or is this just Tejas Kumar? <laughs> yeah. you know? We literally started singing Backstreet Boys that one time. <laughs> that was really fun. We, like, we, we, like we did karaoke and, and he asked me if I want to do karaoke. And I'm like, my last name is Sing, but my middle name is Kant. <laughs> and so um, I was up there anyway, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was so fun. It was so fun. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a blast, hasn't it? The past it couple is. of months. It's yeah. been like, I hope wow. it continues, man. Whirlwind tour. Yeah. I want to keep seeing you. Yeah, I want to keep seeing you too, man. Yeah. I'm taking a break for the next two months. What? So, um, it's the first time I, I hear about I, it. I, I want to go home and enjoy my mortgage. You know, I've been I paying see. my mortgage this whole time and I, I haven't been, been there. So, you know, I want to, nice. I feel like I should enjoy it a little bit. Well know? deserved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, tell us more about yourself. So, I mean, um, the little I know about you is um, obviously now you're working at Zeta. I love Zeta. Right. The, the vibes you got there is fucking off the hook. The Zeta vibe. Um, like, like it's, it's basically like a fashion brand. They always have like this new piece of swag <laughs> that looks amazing. And, and just just awesome. I think what you got tattoos now. Yeah, we got. You have earrings. They have amazing shirts and everything. Um, but obviously, you didn't work at Zeta the whole time. No, no. Um, no. And so, like, like t tell me about the Tejas Kumar journey to Dude, get there. Um, it's uh, it's so dramatic. I'll try to make it sound not dramatic. But I, so, I grew up writing code um, since I was eight years old. And and the reason I did that was because I was way too sick. I was born very sick. I still am very sick. I'm just treated now. Better and, and and you have a condition called hemophilia. Hemophilia and and is, and did I and did, did I say it correctly? A condition is that what is mm -hmm. that what you classify it as? Yeah, or? it's you could say disease. It's it's a genetic condition slash disease where, like, we all human beings require a certain protein to stop our bleeding from continuing, uh, to stop bleeding generally, and um, my body doesn't produce that, so I inject it synthetically. But that only happened recently. So I grew up where like you know like going up a flight of stairs, carrying a backpack, opening a door, everyday tasks would cause me to bleed internally, kind of like you, but I wouldn't stop. So like, I'd just do something trivial and then spend the next like week um, sick and unable to do anything with this arm because it had been bleeding internally and it's a whole, anyway, so all that to say, Oof. I was way too disabled to go to school, um, to do most things. In an entire school year, I would attend only like 19 days of school just because wow. I was too sick otherwise. So I couldn't do anything. The only thing I could do was this. On your this computer. would not cause much internal bleeding. Yeah, so my brother learned HTML. He was healthy, he could do everything. So he learned HTML, he used to come home and teach me. Mm. And I was like, wow, I can make something from nothing. And I, it doesn't hurt me, woo! Um, I was eight years old, building stuff with HTML. Eventually got on CSS, JavaScript, React, Angular. Well, like, like um, I don't think React was out when you were eight years eventually. old. Eventually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, I, I did the whole journey. It's like, this guy's either really young or lying. I'm, I, time I don't travel, know. I don't know. it's I don't time know. travel. No, but I, um, you know, HTML, CSS, front page, Dreamweaver. I was yeah. slicing stuff and yeah. making Photoshop, you know, you know the deal. Yeah. Um, so since I was eight, yeah, and now, dude, I'm, cord is code, cord. Code has been a thing um, for so long that I just really enjoy the human side of it, not talking yeah. to you and yeah. 
yeah, yeah. and I, I feel I feel like we have that in common. Like yeah. like a lot of the time we go to these events to talk to people and kind of learn from them and see totally what they're up track. to. And yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I've always said you can see the talks online at yes. any time. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. It's the people that are here now that you know it makes makes yeah. it really enjoyable and really nice. That's and, right. Um, I find conferences like this one, like React Summit, uh, JSCon Budapest was very good as well. Yeah. Family talking style. to people, you know what I mean? It, yeah. yeah. It felt more intimate. Felt it, you could actually talk to someone and see what they're up to. Yeah. And so, um, as I said, I've been with this guy for so long. I got to learn a lot about him. But this, this whole hemophilia um, uh, disease sounds terrifying. I mean, it, it sounds it, it sounds was. it sounds insane. I mean, um, um, uh, Tejas was saying that like even even if if you even if you get cut. Um, it's basically lethal um, yeah. because you just don't clot, yeah. and so you just bleed out slowly. Yeah. You cut like I, I assume you put a bandaid on it or whatever. The but bandaid I mean, fills um, up and then keeps leaking. So it's like George. it's <laughs> it's like um, for those of you who are sensitive to blood, I'm sorry, but it's um, I yeah man. Like my first talk ever, ever, ever in my life was nine years ago in November 2013, mm. um, and it was titled "Paper Cuts Can Kill." Cool. Uh, and it was literally about the whole thing. It's uh, it on was YouTube. Just, it was just about Microsoft Clippy, because like, like, <laughs> like everyone hates Clippy. Uh, so not, yeah. not, that guy can kill you just, just yeah. through boredom alone. Yeah, but it's no, not but, just but it, it was cut. about. Wow. Well, okay. It's more about the internal bleeding of like if so. This has happened where you know I told a joke and somebody found it funny and they were like ha 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 you're so funny and they like did this playful punch. That then became a whole. It swole up. I lost a ton of blood. It was blue. I was in the ER. Like so the cool. simple movements, throwing a ball, anything would yeah trigger some type of internal bleeding and that's a whole mess so. that's crazy um i used to think of this as a curse like why can't i be normal like taz and go to school and but i see it now as a blessing because like i could do like if, if if i didn't have this disease i wouldn't be able to code at such a young age i wouldn't yeah. be able to learn as much as i have i wouldn't be able to so a lot of people even just now in my talk people are like wow the live coding um i've been writing code since i was eight yeah 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Ten thousand yeah. hours and then some you know so like yeah, yeah, yeah i look back now and i'm like actually i wouldn't change a thing yeah um yeah yeah that's awesome but that's that I mean terrifying yeah. terrifying for a lot of reasons it was. but um that's, that's one of the reasons why I like you know hanging out with tages is that he's always looking at the bright side of things yeah. he's always, always looking at the optimistic side like you know like given the situation is 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 essentially how can you make it positive and how can you have the best out of it yeah. um it's, it's like 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 essentially like essentially it is what you make of it right yeah. and if you make it to be the best situation it's going to be the best situation well that's also um, why i'm so active in talking about and conversations and the dialogues about mental health yeah. bro you cannot imagine the mental trauma i have dealing with this like my entire life there's no cure i see my i see people playing outside i can't do anything and i'm just like wow so so like like like, like 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 essentially even now like I, I, I basically see pictures of you going for runs and stuff yeah. like you also go to the gym and stuff like you're able to do some level of activity now because yeah. of the synthetic protein yeah. um that's right so, I, so I, yeah i moved to germany 7 years ago and then it was like a new birth because what was happening was when I was, as i was growing up so yeah I, 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 i guess tell us more about that so you yeah, you're you're so like 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 the story i know and 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 please please please, sure. please fill in the blanks yeah. is that you were born in india yeah. um in india it was very expensive to get yeah. treatment yeah. you moved to qatar your family moved to qatar and then it became more accessible and then yeah. now you're in germany like like yeah, yeah that's good i'm glad you asked um because it's dude it's like one of those things where you're like how how there's no reason for this um so yeah i was born in india the drug depending on the dosage is quite expensive like today i would be paying about um about 10000 euros a week a week so it's half a million euros roughly um so in india so you, you, that's because i'm 70 kilograms it depends on your weight um still as a baby in india it would still be relatively expensive to wow. my weight um so Ooh. in india at least back then i don't know how it is now it was bad like i either pay or die um My father has no degree or anything but he somehow I wish I still don't know how he got a job in Qatar moved with the whole family and I had a near death experience I was actually clinically dead uh when I was 4 years old because I'd been bleeding into my stomach I thought it was just like spicy food or something um it was not I was losing blood a lot I was oh, pale wow. I had nothing like I was dead Oof. um and then they saved me by pumping a lot of blood into me and clotting factors and so on But then you know at the back of my mind at the back of my parents mind probably is like how are we going to afford this? How are you going to pay for that? Yeah. yeah. And then we found out in Qatar, of all this is 1997, nobody even knew what Qatar was. Yeah. And we found out that um this medicine was free for everyone in case of emergencies. Wow. And so I spent the next 18 years of my life like 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 essentially having a lot of emergencies. Is that how it works? Precisely. Or? So it was what? it was a pendulum between I'm healthy I'm in the ER. I'm healthy. I'm in the ER. I'm healthy. Oh I'm in the goodness. ER. I'm healthy. Bipolar, literally. 
um, for 18 years. <laughs> um, and yeah, and, and so when that change, and you cannot imagine the mental trauma like, I so, have. So, 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 sorry. I mean, like, I, like, like, like as, as you said, for me, I, 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 I'm fortunate not to have this disease, but it, it's very difficult for me to imagine what it's like it was, for you. Yeah. And so, and so, sorry, j just so I understand, you're saying you went to the ER, you got the treatment for free in the ER, and you were fine. And then you left the ER, you kind of got in, 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 in like, things. like you did everyday things as you would normally do. Yeah. And just, 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 just this disease would result in you just going yeah. back to the ER. Yeah. And, and outside of the ER, you had to pay for this. Is that yes. how it worked? And yes. So, and so outside the ER, it was costing like, like I, I assume back then you were smaller, so it wasn't quite 10 grand, but it might have been, yeah. what, two grand, three a grand? More than should. Like, like a, a lot of money. It's a basic a lot human of money right to live. To, to live. Um, and like that's, that's a weekly payment as well. It's not like a monthly, it's a weekly payment you're paying yeah. like all this money. Um, and yeah. um, uh, so you basically just waited until you had to go back to the ER? Is that what it was? Yeah, basically. So I, I would leave the ER knowing I'm just going to be back here. And, and so the other man, sorry, I'm getting a little bit like, whew, because the other thing was um, emergency doctors are not specialists in blood. They're not hematologists. They're emergency yeah. doctors. Yeah. So they don't really yeah. know what's happening. Yeah. So I would show up to the ER regularly and they're like, you again? Really? Why? I just saw you last week. Um, they wouldn't understand. And they would think I'm a junkie. So they would write in my chart, no narcotics, please, because they thought I was just going to get high on painkillers. And so I, then I had to fight to defend myself. I was like, look, I re I'm not going to stop bleeding. And this happened multiple times where I would go in the morning because I was, something was very swollen up and full of blood. They'd be like, go home, you, you can't. And I was like, fine, I'll just be back in a few more hours when I'm closer to death. And I was, I went back at night when the shifts had changed. It was a different doctor who was more compassionate. And yeah, 18 years of this, um, oh. it, I, I can't. Um, and then, so th this changed when, so in Qatar, I don't know if it's different now, but when I was growing up, the law is when a man turns 60. Like, he, like, like, like six zero. Six zero. He must take his family and go back to their country of origin. They do not allow wow. people to retire there. Wow. So my family lived there 18 years. Um, my dad was 58 and I could already kind of see the finish line. I'm like, okay, 60, we go back to India, I'm going to die. Um, or maybe not die, but have a not the best quality of life. Uh, yeah. Um, and so I started, I knew how to code. I've been coding for a long time at this point. I looked around for jobs in countries where I knew healthcare was good. Mm. Canada was one of them. Um, and eventually had the choice of Amsterdam, Berlin. Ended up not passing the Amsterdam interview because I wasn't good at A-B testing. Uh, and, and where was this? Booking.com. Booking.com, yeah, oh, okay. I wasn't Crazy. good at A-B testing and I, I lost that. But I got another job in Berlin. A small startup decided to take a chance on me. And I moved there and I went straight to the hospital. I was like, hematology, where? Um, <laughs> I met the doctor, I was like, hey, listen, I just met you, this is crazy, but like, I have hemophilia. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. For real. Uh, and I was like, I have hemophilia. But I suffer from blood loss, <laughs> please give me medication. <laughs> exactly. Um, and oh, he was no, like, wow. he was like, wait, what? Do you have any papers, any medical history? I was like, no. Okay, what brand of medicine are you? And I somehow remember the brand. And he was like, great, we'll, we'll sort you out um, and we'll train you. So they trained me how to give myself intravenous injections, like in a vein. Oh, wow. And he's like, we'll set you up, we'll give you a bunch of supplies, we'll train you, and then I want you to do this every 48 hours. Just inject yourself, you're gonna be fine. And I did, and it wow. was like a new birth. And, and for, for, for free, for, for, like free to you. Paid by the health insurance system. Paid by the health insurance system, yeah, wow. Dude, I love this system. And, and, then, and then what health insurance was paid for by your employer or like, That's a good like question. through you or through tax revenue? or? Yeah, so in Germany it's half paid by your employer, half paid by you, okay. and the insurance premiums are relative to your income. Okay, um, and, and I'm, I'm assuming that like pre-existing conditions are, 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 are fine. Yes. Oh wow, okay. And the interesting thing is, so like my wife, she's super healthy. She never goes to the doctor, maybe yeah. once or twice in five years or something. Yeah. She pays relative to her income the same amount as I do for health insurance. Oh wow. Everybody pays this, the whole country pays this. That's amazing. And then based on people like me who need it, the insurance company is like, okay, give that person half a million and that so. It works. I, I see the system work and I'm wow. thankful for everybody who that, pays That's there. amazing. That, that's, yeah. yeah, that's really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. And so now I can go to the gym because like it was every 48 hours that I had to infuse myself. Um, as of 2020, that changed to a new experimental drug that is not yet mainstream. That instead of every 48 hours, it lasts a week. It lasts a week now. Okay. So now I okay. shoot up on Monday okay. um, 
and I'm good. I can. I was gonna say like like the last well the first time I really got to meet Tejas. I think you came to our comedy show at React Day Berlin, but I think yeah. I think you left early or something. Yeah. Um, and so I, I actually didn't meet him there. Um, and then it was in Finland actually, uh, 2019. Yeah. I believe if if my memory serves, so it was either 2018 or 20. I think it was 2019. I think so. And um, essentially Tejas was there. Um, David David Korshid was there. Good friend Yanni was there. Um, we had like um, either like Joe Hart. We had so our old good. TC39 comedy crew. My buddy Phil Pluckson. Yeah. I'm just naming some of these names because essentially some of these are in episodes, and so we'll, we'll actually put links um, around um, for episodes, uh, like essentially links to them. Um, so we had we had the whole crew here, yeah. <laughs> exactly this way, that way. Uh, we had the whole crew there, yeah, and um, we had Tages and we had we had David Korshid. So David Korshid plays the piano, and Tages can sing, and so um, Tages was performing like the Babel song, yeah. and David Korshid was, was was on the piano. It was, and it was like really 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 lovely. Um, I'm not sure we still have videos of that or yeah, not, we do. but um, but okay, you have to send me that to me later, sure. and we'll make sure to put. Link, link, put, put it into link above the like button. <laughs> yeah, bam. Um, and so, um, and it was amazing. But like back then, you had to take it every two days, yeah, every forty-eight right. hours. Yes. And so, like, I think I think I saw you, and I think there was a speaker's dinner or something. Yeah. And so, one of those days, you had to. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I have fun with it, man. Like, thankfully, I'm so used to it now that if I do shoot up in the presence of others, I like give them the syringe, and I'm like, hey, look, it's totally in my vein. Do you wanna? Like, I, I have fun with it. Um, and I'm thankful, dude, because like my life is. You're able to live it. It's damn near perfect today. Honestly, I can't complain. Like I travel, I hang out with you. I give talks. I hang out. Like I talk to other speakers. I just like enjoy life. Um, and I work at a great team. Like I, I sometimes pinch myself because I'm like, wow, I, what did I do to deserve to start, like born broken in India, and to end up here where I'm once a week treated. I'm fine. I can go to the gym. I can run. I can. Hang. It's like, whew. Yeah, you know. No, I I, I, yeah. I I get it, dude. And and I think I think that's one of the best things um, about his story that I really enjoy is um, Tejas literally had nothing to lose. That's you know? yeah, that's a good. Yeah. He had nothing to lose and, and everything um, to gain. And everything to gain. And if if anyone he he's he's done it. You know what I mean? He, he's he's gained. <laughs> you know what I mean? This you you is, kind of um, yeah. um, in in my opinion, and I I don't think I've told you this before, but in my opinion. Um, it's like I've always said um, that everyone experiences the same relative lows and the same relative highs. Uh, for you, your relative low was 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 termination. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean. And and experiencing that, um, experiencing that hell makes everything else feel a bit more like heaven. Is is the way I look at it. And and you, you uh, like and and That's I good. mean like whenever whenever I see Tages. He's just having a great time. You know, he's happy to be there. He's having a great time. And oftentimes I wonder, and I think if it is because you've experienced those lows in, in your time, that Definitely. you're just really, just really, truly happy to be around, happy to be here, happy to talk to us. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's that genuine vibe that I think is so magnetic to people. You know, it's just, just seeing him give a talk, just seeing him behind the booth, um, just seeing him wherever he goes. Um, it's just it's just magnetic, <laughs> you know. It's just it's hard to describe unless you've got unless you've got a chance to meet him in person. But hopefully hopefully you can soon, and hopefully yeah. you can kind of see what we mean. Um, yeah. But yeah, dude, that's a crazy story. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I have one 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 takeaway that you know I, I look at my life, and I think part of the reason um, I I'm privileged enough today is is because like I learned as you said, my my relative low was death, so I like kind of learned from a really young age that. Life was not going to be kind to me. Like I didn't really. What does life owe me? Nothing. Yeah. I'm just a person. Yeah. And I grew up fighting for life and for in in, in a white male dominated industry. You know what yeah. this is about. Yeah. It's been a constant fight, man. Um, um, yeah. And I feel like when you learn this at a young age, you look at history. You look at orphans and people who like some tragic thing happens when they're young. That I feel like it, this is. Served me well. Yeah. So all that to say, I no, I do, completely agree. I counted a blessing for sure. I completely agree. Um, and um, like, like not not to not to take away from what Tejas just said. I mean, uh, just for you watching this, um, um, essentially, essentially, I was born into apartheid South Africa. You know, like we almost died at a very young age as well. And I, look I can, at you now. I can, I can relate strongly to what you're saying. I mean, obviously, very different circumstance. Yeah. Obviously, I, I don't have hemophilia. Um, it's more like kind of social injustice for me than it is yeah. um, um, physical. kind of physical and social for you in a lot of ways, right? Um, but um, I think that, that that's what makes me appreciate you know, Tejas in his story that much more. Um, but yeah, dude, um, you're, you're obviously fucking killing it these days. You know, you're out there um, just vibing, just having a good time, yeah, as you sure. said, enjoying what you're doing, yeah. like very in a very genuine way. Um, I guess, I guess, tell me more about Zeta and, and what what made what made you join Zeta and yeah, um, and what you're doing over there. Zeta is awesome. 
I um, so I found in my inbox one day um, a message from this awesome woman who was the director of engineering at Elastic. She's like, "Hey, I have a company. I want to work with you. What do you think?" Um, and I and I was like, "Okay, who are you?" And so she sent me this TechCrunch article, and I was like, "Wow, okay, so it's like Airtable but better." Hmm. So I said, "Let's talk," and we talked. And she was, I mean, she was just the nicest person. Um, and then I had an interview with the CTO, found out later uh, was her husband. <laughs> and they have a daughter and it's like this awesome family vibe. And, you know, in the interview, they're like, so tell us about yourself. I was like, well, I've done some front end, some back end, some cloud, some infra. What do you want me to do? And what they said to me sealed the deal, man. They were like, mm -hmm. look, we can hire a hundred other engineers who know code and so on. But we've never, ever seen anyone speak like you. Mm. And so can you lead DevRel? And yeah. I was like, yeah. wow, they see yeah. something in me that I don't even, you know? <laughs> and I was like, sure. And so that's how I started. Um, yeah. And since the beginning, because our founder and CEO is a woman, our entire board is all women. Um, we're really, at least for me personally, we talked about apartheid and all this, right? Yeah. I, equality is important. Um, and so in my position, yes, I do DevRel, I do talks, I do the things you'd expect from developer relations, but I, we work hard to make sure there's equality and representation. So like yeah. we, at yep. our booth, yep. usually there's earrings, there's women's cut shirts, and an equal part and, and, male and, stuff. And, and I think, I think, in, in, from my perspective, it goes so like y yes, and it goes beyond that. Especially how I've seen uh, Zeta and Tejas uh, essentially do do essentially do DevRel, and this is something that, that we've talked about. Is um, oftentimes I see people in, in, in developer relations, they just kind of want to talk to like the, the celebrity or kind of the, the the interesting person out there. You know what I mean? Um, and, and 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 especially for me, like I'll just go around places, and and, and for me, I very much enjoy. Um, being a nobody at all, you know, like I don't try to be anybody. I'd, I'd very much rather be nobody. And so, um, oftentimes, I find some of these, especially newer DevRels, they have no idea who, who Taz Thing is. They haven't seen any of my talks. They don't know anything about Toronto JS. They don't know anything at all about me. And for me, I actually love that. Um, but I find they won't pay any attention to me at all. You know what I mean? Like, like they'll talk to like they'll talk to Tages because they all know who Tages is. Um, but, but, but they will never actually talk to me or say anything to me at all. And, and um, there's something I really enjoy about Zeta and the way that they do DevRel is they will talk to you. They will listen to you. They make sure that you're seen. Make sure you're heard. Yeah. Um, make sure that they, like you, it's not like you're an invisible thing. You know what I mean? You're very visible. They want to they want to hear from you. They want to talk to you, and they want to really appreciate the challenges you're going through yeah. in, in the hope that data is a solution, or yeah. or or you know, like we're really just trying to help you as a person at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, and I think I think speaking about equality in DevRel, um, I think that's what really stood out to me personally nice. with yeah. the way that Zeta did it. I appreciate that. Thanks. No, but it's true. I mean, like yeah. like for me, I'm, I'm I'm a terrible liar, which is why I don't play poker. <laughs> and so um, it's true. Yeah, that's actually you know we we try really hard to not care about like give us your contact information and then we give you a shirt. It's just we we love people and like for me for DevRel, truth, um, DevRel is cool, meeting people is cool, doing talks is cool. My secret, not so secret mission is to literally just show up and like love on people and like support them and listen to their journey and like it's cool that it's called DevRel and we can talk about Zada all day but like at, at the end, like if someone comes to our booth and they leave not caring at all about Zada, not even using Zada but they feel like hey I, I feel like someone listened to me, wow, that's all I wanted. That's for us, we've done our yeah. job, you yeah. know? And that, so it's more of like, just let's vibe, man. Like I don't, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad yeah, you yeah. feel that. It's very validating because that's no, exactly it's, what we it's try. It's true. I mean, like, 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 like. Essentially, essentially, you know me, and I know you, yeah. and, and we both go to a lot of conferences. We both go to a lot of events. I mean, it's my, my It's literally my job, and it's yeah, literally your job so as good. well. Yeah, and like so, it's not um, like we're not. You know, so if we see a conference and like Kent C. Dodds is there, we're not gonna be like <gasps> hound him with that. No, like if he wants, he'll come and we'll love on him. But whatever, like we're not. We don't just go after like the influencers. Everybody's an influencer, and, yeah. and we'd rather just like meet with people and have people like us naturally than tactics. I know some yeah. really tactical like, like yeah. DevRel teams. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not our yeah. that's not our vibe. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But like that's what I appreciate. It's about the people, about the community, about elevating everyone yeah. and, and everyone benefits at the end of the day yeah. from it. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure um, um, how much time we have or if there's anything else in particular. No, man, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. I feel like honored to be on this awesome camera, this great YouTube channel. <laughs> You're it's too my, kind. You're too privilege, kind. For sure. You're too kind. But I guess with that, we'll let you go. Um, Tejas Kumar, everyone. Awesome. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye.